Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome again to a new episode of Contemporary Fiqh Issues. We have with us again our guest, Sheikh Al Fadl, Sheikh Asim bin Uqman Al Hakim. Sheikh Asim, welcome. Zakum Allah khair and thank you for having me. Barakallahu feekum. Sheikh Asim is one of the well known du'aat who has traveled extensively around the world uh, and lectured in both English and Arabic. He's the khatib and imam of a masjid in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, and has been in such position for the last 21 years. Sheikh, today we're going to discuss a very serious issue that a lot of Muslims uh, find difficult in dealing with, and we ask Allah to save us from it, and that's the issue of abortion. Uh, for many individuals in the West specifically, people equate abortion with a miscarriage. They say, well, a miscarriage is the same thing, so why can't we have an abortion? Could you please elaborate on the difference between these two issues? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala abdihi wa rasulihi al-ameen, nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. There is a difference between miscarriage and abortion. Miscarriage is something that is done without any human intervention. So there is no interference from the part of the woman who's carrying the fetus or from an external part, someone who beats her up or gives her medication or interferes surgically to have her abort the child. So a miscarriage is something that happens from Allah the Almighty, yeah. as we say. And we believe that it is in the best interest of the mother because usually, as physicians say, that whenever a miscarriage takes place, this is because there is a, 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 some form of mutilation or deformation in the fetus that would most likely be the cause of this um, child to be born into uh, some form of being retarded, being um, yeah, something that is wrong in it. Mm -hmm. So Allah Azza wa would choose for the pregnancy to be terminated as this early stage. And as a believer, we believe that whatever Allah Azza wa rules upon a Muslim, then this ruling is for his or her best. And a miscarriage is, as said, is something that humans have no interver intervention to or with. Not like abortion. Abortion is something that is premeditated and it is something that a person does, either a physician or by sort of abuse of the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. The mother can abort herself by carrying heavy things, for example, or by um, being beaten by or abused by someone else, and then she uh, uh, aborts her pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And this form of abortion is divided into two types. Mm -hmm. As we know that the first type is before the soul is breathed into the fetus. Mm -hmm. And the second type is after it was breathed into the fetus. Mm -hmm. Allah the Almighty tells us in the Quran, or the Prophet ﷺ tells us in the authentic hadith, mm -hmm. the creation of any one of you is put together in his mother's womb for 40 days. So these are, of course, by a person who was illiterate and did not go into, to any medical schools, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Prophet, and who could not read or write. Yet it is a revelation from Allah. Mm -hmm. He stated this 15 centuries ago. He said that the creation of any one of you is put together in his mother's womb for 40 days. Then he becomes a alaqa, which is a piece of thick coagulated blood mm -hmm. for a similar period, which is another 40 days. Yes. Then he becomes like a chewed piece of flesh for a similar period. And this is another 40 days. Then Allah sends an angel who is enjoined to write down four things. And it's said to him, write down his deeds, his provisions, his lifespan, and whether he is doomed for hell or distant to uh, 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 paradise. Then the soul is breathed into him. So from this hadith, we understand that the soul is breathed 
only after the 120th day. Before so approximately three months, uh, four months. Four months. Mm -hmm. And this, before it, the soul was not breathed. So this gives us an indication that it's a different way of looking at a miscarriage or at an abortion before having uh, this. Also, Allah Azza tells us that the chewed bit, a mudra, mm -hmm. it can be um, formed and not formed. And Allah Azza wa mentioned this in the Quran. Allah the Almighty said, O mankind, if you are in doubt about the resurrection, then verily we have created you from dust, then from a nutfa, which is mixed drops of male and female sexual discharge, mm -hmm. the offsprings of Adam that is, then from a clot, which is a piece of thick coagulated blood, then from a little lump of flesh, some formed and some unformed, that we may make clear to you. What, dry, what would drive somebody to want to abort their own child? Well, this has a lot of answers to it. Unfortunately, but before going into these uh, uh, answers or cases, we have to understand that Islam gives a lot of value to life. And that is why, like other religions, it's forbidden in Islam to abort a child, except in the very, very limited cases that we will come to mention, inshallah, if, there, if the time allows us to. Inshallah. But Islam gives a great value to life. Unfortunately, when you do not have proper belief and iman, you tend to feel that life is something that is worthless. Mm -hmm. Usually people who perform uh, abortion are those who conceive through haram, those who conceive through illegal means out of adultery or, or fornication. Mm -hmm. um, maybe the doctors would come and say that the child or the fetus is not uh, properly uh, created in the sense that it has a deformity or something that is missing. Mm -hmm. So the father and the mother would feel that we don't want to go into this. Let's abort the pregnancy altogether. Maybe, and, and in so many cases, especially when dealing with abortion in a commercial way, people would use the fetus in their stem cells uh, um, research researches. Mm -hmm. So they would sell this with a lot of money. So whenever a woman comes in, they would pretend that there's something wrong with her and they would advise her, three or four doctors who don't fear Allah, who don't know Allah, mm -hmm. and who are only interested in their wallets and bank accounts, mm -hmm. And they would tell her to go and abort the, ch uh, the pregnancy for her, for her own safety and well-being. And they would take the fetus and would use its body parts, its use its stem cells, and etc. from it. So there are a lot of, of, of reasons. But among the reasons are abuse. Because not necessarily the consent of the mother is always there in abortion. Maybe if someone attacks her or beats her while she is pregnant and she is uh, uh, having this miscarriage or abortion accordingly. Mm -hmm. So there are, there are many reasons for that. Are there any Islamically valid reasons we could think of where a woman would um, want to abort her child, for example, if she was raped or if she committed fornication? Scholars say that a pregnancy that resulted from rape, though it is a great calamity, the one that was raped is rewarded at the side of Allah because of this calamity. And the child she's conceiving it has no guilt. He did not do anything wrong to uh, be killed for. So they say that it is not permissible for her to perform uh, um, this uh, abortion and unless it's 40 days young or old mm -hmm. or below. But more than that, it would not be permissible. And some say it is not permissible altogether. Mm -hmm. In the case of being conceived out of wedlock, 
out of fornication or adultery, mm -hmm. this is even greater. This is not uh, uh, permissible because it's their own wrongdoing and it's not the child's fault that his parents or his mother, that is, mm -hmm. uh, did this uh, sin. Which brings us to our next point. Um, so there is really a, a difference in terms of how the woman has to purify herself afterwards, how the, uh, the child is considered a living creature or not between the first 40 days, the next uh, 40 days, and the final 40 days. Correct? Yeah. So, um, sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Yes, uh, continue. So then, is an abortion at different stages whether it's the blood clot or the fetus that's been formed or finally the child that obviously has a soul which is obviously the worst time to abort is the ruling the same how are the people who abort their children in Islam treated are they punished are they uh... well this is a good question um, I don't think we have enough time to go into details but 40 days and before 40 days and below some scholars say that this is permissible if there is a legitimate reason mm -hmm. If the soul was breathed then, there is no legitimacy whatsoever. It's killing. It's killing. Mm -hmm. Some even say that even if the mother was uh, facing a heart attack and it, she could die while giving birth, you cannot abort the child because her death is probable. Mm -hmm. She might and she may not. Mm -hmm. But the, the, the killing of the, the fetus the, the, that was it's a living creature, this is something that is found there. Mm -hmm. So is it wrong Islamically to abort a child? Yes, it is. Is, is it punishable? Yes, it is. It is punishable. And in Islam, if you kill a living uh, uh, fetus after the 120 days, mm -hmm. you are forced to give expiation, blood money. Mm -hmm. You are forced to give blood money to the family of the child that was aborted, mm -hmm. which is about five camels worth of money. What if it's the woman who aborts her own child? Then she's the one who's supposed to do this. Okay. And she gives it and she has no share in it. Mm -hmm. She gives it to her husband who is uh, uh, inheriting this child. Mm -hmm. And some schools of thought say that she has also, the person has to also uh, fast two consecutive months as form of expiation. But they're not charged with murder. Well, it is not murder yet mm -hmm. because if the abortion takes place while the, uh, the, the woman is, is uh, pregnant with it, mm -hmm. it's not fully fledged murder, mm -hmm. but it is part of it, and it's, it's a major sin mm -hmm. in Islam. And it, we can go on to call it murder if the assault takes place at a pregnant woman, and then she gives birth in a time which is usual for a woman to give birth like seven months eight months nine months mm -hmm. and the child lives for a normal period of time which is 10 minutes half an hour mm -hmm. a normal life and then dies out of this abuse or this assault so we can say this assault directly caused the death of this born child and he has to pay the full blood money no. this is called murder it's not like the five camels worth no he has to pay the full 100 camels as blood money to uh, uh, the, the parents. Assalamu alaikum. Barakallahu feekum, ya Shaykh. It's always a pleasure to have you. We'd love to continue and benefit greatly, but unfortunately, we have to go. Jazakallah khairan, and please, uh, you're welcome to join us again next week. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.